We are going to the pool. It's been a long time since we've been to the pool. I haven't got a headrest on because we're just doing a, a short transfer to the car. So there's no point putting in the headrest. <laughs> but yes, don't worry folks, she's not uncomfortable with that. Like, let's say the hood's not gonna fall off. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I just thought I'd do a short little video and uh, show you how we go about doing this. It's a bit of a roundabout way. This is her flotation device. I have misplaced her um, thing that holds her in place, like to stop her falling through, <laughs> but I'm hoping we'll manage without it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do it because tomorrow is Miss Hannah's birthday and I know how much she loves hydro. So I thought we can't miss out. Grandma's coming as well. So I just thought I'd show you all the effort <laughs> it takes for us to do a simple thing like going swimming with Miss Hannah. Alrighty, so let's take you up to the lift. Get open up the door. Might have to put the um, um, wheelchair a bit further forward. Um, <laughs> your head forward, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy, work those muscles. All right, let's go. Ooh, hitting the door there. There we go. Here we go. All right, so this is her disability lift here. I'm just gonna press the button, call the lift up. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Miss Hannah. Look at that big smile. Gosh, she loves water. She's such a water baby. I'm so glad we're doing this. It's a bit of an effort, like I said. Um, Mummy gets exhausted afterwards, but this is really good for her. So well worth the effort. Alrighty, open up the lift. <laughs> Ready? In we go. In we go. Yeah, I really, I really think that mums should come with like extra arms. <laughs> we all know this as mums, but we should, we should all have extra arms because two is just not enough. Alright, see if it goes in properly. Okay, so that's not. The crane set me as it's in. All right, let's go and get her. Let's go and get her. So, I don't go in the lift with her because the lift has a habit of getting stuck at times and the phone in there is not working. And also, I don't like to be stuck. So, I just got all the stuff everywhere because I was looking for her straps. <laughs> all right, so ignore the messy half construction site from the kitchen in there and the slightly overgrown garden <laughs> which has been neglected because i've just been so hyper focused on the kitchen Alrighty, righty and we'll get back into the garden once we've done the kitchen up hey hannah so out she comes out she comes and into the car we go into the car we go so this is not a fun part it's kind of awkward and we don't have a car that's like designed for disabilities so the only way to get her in is to do manual transfers which is not the best i've got her thing to stop her you know having an accident on the car seat there we go i've got to go get the towels as well i forgot about the towels Ooh, making a mess here all right hang on so um, I might just turn off the camera now because I can't make a mistake here. It's precious cargo here. So I'll, I want to get her in the car. I'll come back on again. So yeah, we've got her in the car now. So yeah, I use usually a pillow or something like that. Just to give her extra support. She's usually pretty comfortable like this. Anyway, um, grandma's coming. Just got to put this away so she can get in. Okay, so we're at the pool. We've got her in the hippo. And then we're going to transfer her to the pool. So, let's go Miss Hannah. This is the first time I've used this flotation device and we haven't got the strap, so I'm hoping it'll work. I'm just gonna give it a shot. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Right, I'm gonna have to turn off the video because I don't know how everything's gonna work and then if everything works, I'll update. Here we go. All right, so. It's semi-successful. It would be better with the straps. Uh, so definitely have to get the replacement straps. 
Um, but yeah, she seems fairly stable. We tried it the other way, it didn't look as stable as it does now, so I think this is the way. But yeah, <laughs> Anna's loving it. Grandma's complaining it's too cold. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Hannah's loving it. It's been a while since we've been doing hydro, hasn't it? It's been a while. <laughs> well, we'll get back into it again, Hannah. Hey, okay? we'll make it a Wednesday thing. We'll make it a Wednesday thing. Seven dollars. <laughs> Ah. Bo wiesz, ja jestem kompanion, więc ja za darmo. No, nogami do góry, mama. No nie mogę, bo ja kanie trzymam. To ja będę ją trzymać. No nie, 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 ja trzeba to trochę... Nie przejmuj się, ja mam ją. Tam jest za głęboko już chyba, nie? Ta, ja daleko nie będę szła, bo wiesz, nie jestem pewna. Jeszcze? So I'm, I'm not going to um, go out too deep because I'm still a little bit uncertain about this new flotation device and without her straps underneath, there's that worry. <laughs> so I'll take her back into the shallows where she can touch the ground with her feet and that'll be good for her legs as well. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you having a good time? I think you are. You love it all. <laughs> Okay, so we are out and we're about to head off into the car and I had a great time but it looks like there's some rain coming so that's what we'll be doing this every Wednesday I think. So um, the, I guess the thing is like I mean we had a great time but it is a big job like I had to come back and before I could even look at anything to do with myself I had to first give Hannah a bath which is a big thing in itself and I've just uh, just put it down so that I can now have a shower myself but yeah it's it's a big job it's not an easy like hey let's go up and go um, swimming um, you really have to plan every little step of the way but um, look I'm gonna keep doing it hopefully every Wednesday um, until it gets too cold we used to go there even in winter back when I was a little bit more <laughs> energetic but it, it gets a bit hard because when we get out of the pool, the change room facilities there are not big enough. They don't have a, a proper bed to change her on or to even shower her on. And um, there's no hoist, um, which I mean, I wouldn't mind not using a hoist, but I know a lot of people rely on it. And so the um, facilities for the actual disability change rooms are not that great. And so normally, clients end up going home and getting changed home and that's what I do with Hannah so in winter when we come out it's quite chilly especially because it's exposed um, although it has got a few shrubs around it still gets a little bit nippy coming out it is a heated pool but it gets nippy coming out so normally uh, for winter I stop and unfortunately the McMahon's covered up pool is not set up for disabilities their um, the insurance just doesn't cover it so yeah it's our only option unfortunately so usually we stop in winter but yeah i'm gonna try and keep going with her while we can and see how long i can last 